There is a mystery on Long Island at a cemetery where it's believed many of the unmarked graves are the final resting places for African Americans. And the graves dating back more than 200 years. And now a campaign to find out who are these people and who are their ancestors and what are their stories? Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne with more from Cold Spring Harbor. Their names are unknown, and so in turn is everything about them. It'd be very nice if we could put names with the stones. A starting point is the one thing that is known, that the approximately three dozen people buried in this hidden cemetery in Cold Spring Harbor were African Americans, workers for the Jones family, a local wealthy business family in the 18th and 19th centuries. The way this is sitting in the ground, I would guess it is a headstone. The only headstones that have names are these. One is for Alfred Thorne, who died in 1900. He was a coachman for the Jones family, for two generations of the Jones family. And next to his grave, Patience Thorne, believed to be Alfred's mother. But the rest are unmarked, lost to history. I hope people come forward so we can uh, identify who's buried here. Um, because that's important um, because the people that are buried here um, worked in this area. So that's how we can track our roots and check uh, the importance that African Americans played in our town. The burial ground was neglected for many years, overgrown and filled with trash. But recently, a parishioner at St. John's Episcopal Church across the water expressed that she believed one of her family members was buried here. Volunteers with the church and a group of young people hired by Suffolk County got to work cleaning everything up. St. John's see, like, pastor Gideon Pollock says the church will continue to maintain the site and uh, try to help identify who's buried here. To understand the history of this place, to understand its relationship to our church and to its, the life we're living now, um, and to understand a bit about the history of African-American people in our region. And to make sure they're not forgotten.